No, some other spot. I went with a buddy of mine. Yeah. He took me to a good spot that it goes to. Okay. Have you ever been to that, to that spot over there in a, in a backwood? Telling me about using crow, crows to do that. Another guy was talking about dust, and I was like, "Man, I don't even know if you can use that legally." You know what I mean? So, Cause I'm unsure. I stick with the base I know are good to go. You know. Hey, what's up, Hard Life Nation? It is growing. We're coming up on our 20,000 subscriber mark. And right here, I've got an alligator gar that we caught while we were out at that tournament. And it was one of the smaller ones, which we were looking forward to keeping because I definitely hadn't had alligator gar in quite some time. It's probably been over a year easily. So, wanted to do a little fillet up video and stuff like that and y'all have probably seen where I did a video short of showing how I did some alligator gar filet mignon bacon wrapped um, on the grill and we did it with the alligator gar backstrap right here that we have gotten and granted I only did a few pieces but we're gonna be trying out some different things I got some different ideas besides the deep fry which is coming I've been thinking of another idea of how to cook the alligator gar and really enjoy it. So I, I'm kind of excited of the ideas I got going. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out real quick. heavy so that way when you hit it it ain't just dull so this is the easy part now uh, I'm just going the inside right there Yeah, one per person, depending on where you catch it. I found out that there's uh, another lake, uh, Falcon Lake, I believe it was what it was, where you can uh, keep more than one, but everywhere else is just one. It's probably been a few years that I've... Actually, last year, I think, I did one.
Alright guys, so with our Teach Amanda Fish series, we're also showing you the real life of what it takes to actually do what we do once we have catches that we decide to keep and cook up. You know, I could fast forward this video and show you how easy it looks, but I wanted to also show that even for um, somebody that has done it before, I wouldn't say I'm super experienced at filleting up alligator gar, but I am good enough to where I can get all the meat out that I am looking for and most of what you'll find on these alligator guards these two back straps and that is on the top section right there however with the alligator gar and the area we were at it brought back a lot of sand and some dirt with it even though I rinsed it off you know it's one of them things with their heavy scales there's a lot of area for the sand to hide so once I rinsed off the table and all of that I'm still gonna keep the meat kind of protected in there because I don't have a I didn't bring a separate container to put the meat in so it can stand by while I lay up the rest of the gar. I'm thinking about I'm, I'm thinking about doing it in, in chunks. I know that, but like filet mignon, wrap with bacon on the grill. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it comes out good for fried too. Oh yeah, I would like to do nuggets. Have have nuggets. I can do one one day and one another. day. Um, but like seven minutes. Uh, dinner. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. <laughs> However, this is the way I'm going to do it so that way it stays in there not, um, uh -huh. safely without it getting all dirty and stuff. But yes, yeah, sir, I'm excited. I'm really excited on this. All right. Huh? Oh, yeah. The hide? Uh, I like throw it in the trash. I'm gonna keep the head though, because it's been a minute. Want another pair. Wouldn't mind now a set of jaws. Probably be the last one I kill this season, you know? On a what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I normally would do that here too. And now, now it's easier for me just to run to the dump in the morning, you know, after I drop off the kids.
real flaky meat. Stay tuned because I've got a little video that I want to do. Try something different with this. Normally I deep fry it, which the family still wants it like that, but I don't know, man. That's a beautiful meat right there. Golly. So I'm going to do one like that and then the other a different way. But I definitely want that head. There you can see why we kept this one. And there's still a line in there. Hook it still deep inside. And that being a trouble hook, we couldn't get the hooks out like that. But that's why I'm also trying out a different way of fishing. So that way we don't run into this problem anymore. teeth right there. <laughs>
<laughs> There's still the bait right there. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what we're working out to.